Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode from my server in Minecraft. I hope you're all doing well. Um, just a little update. Uh, thing, I still do have a lot of things going on. So the videos again aren't going to be uh, drastically long. I'm, I'm, I'm finding the time to sort of get some work done but actually trying to fit the recording in as well. Unfortunately I, my depression has hit me quite hard lately and it's made it extremely difficult um, to... Uh, to to basically to sort of talk to a camera, it's it's stupid, I know, because it's just talking to a camera. But still, um, you know, depression can be a bit of a iffy thing to deal with. So I have been working on the server and I have been playing, but you know, it's it's been really hard for me to actually um, sort of string together coherent sentences and and not feel you know just ridiculously crap anyway so work has been done so let's get on and show you what we've been doing so things have been changing quite a lot so let's just take a little swoop in as you can see i have been working some more on it so we've got some more carpet on the go uh we've now got some bookcases in here so like i said i was going for a library aesthetic and that is what i'm doing so i've put a load of sort of bookcases I'm not 100% convinced I'm going to keep these bookcases as they are. I was just working on the sort of layout, and this is a rough idea of kind of what I was going to go with. Um, the, again, it's not all complete. I'm, I want to put like a couple of sort of like, like little desks and work tables in here. Now, there is a little room in here, and there is a reason for that, which will become apparent when we go around to the other side. So as you can see, there's two of these both underneath the staircase, and they are a little bit close in. As you can see, we have an enchanted room. As you walk in, now this is something I think I saw um, somebody had done done this on, I think it was 2B2T. I was watching a, a Fit MC video and I saw that on the floor and I thought, Do you know what, that looks really cool. So that's kind of what I've done here. Um, so this is basically um, an enchanted room. Um, I'm not, to be honest, I'm not really going to need it because I have, you know, obviously the villager training mall over there. But I wanted to add one in anyway because it kind of fits with the aesthetic, um, with it being obviously a library. Also, moving on, you can see the drop chest has gone. I really, really, every time I came in, it was really bugging me the fact that it was there. I toyed with a couple of different designs and I really didn't like the fact it was there. So, what I've done is I've actually moved it and it's actually here. So again, it's made everything just a little bit crisper, a little bit cleaner, and again, it's it's virtually it's pretty much exactly where it was, near enough. Um, it's just obviously down there that you know, I, it, it's sort of hidden, but I know where it is, and I'm the one that's going to be using it. So you know, that's all that matters. Uh, also, going back to what I was saying in one of the other videos um, with regards to doing the concrete pillars and making them go on the outside, I finally settled on a design I actually quite liked. Um, so as you can see, we've got them here, so they actually mirror, and there's actually, it kind of, you know, it looks like it's supporting each side. Now, in doing this, I've kind of, I, I haven't, I haven't set this in stone, but I kind of really like that, um, the, the stone brick up there, and I'm seriously considering stripping out all of the wood from the side, from this side portion anyway, and changing it all for cobble. Uh, not for cobble, sorry, for stone brick. So it'll be so this stone brick would actually go all the way around the outside, which would also open up the opportunity to change the spruce wood fence that I'm still not a hundred percent on whether I want to keep or not. Um, as you can see, like I said, so these pillars are all going down here. The only um, issue with it, and I will apologise now if you can hear any screaming in the background. The kids are at home. At the moment, school's finished for the day. Uh, the only iffy part I got to was here, because obviously this is where the bookcase, uh, where the staircase is. Now, ideally, I would either like the staircase to be over the middle of this, or I'd like it to be like this, these pillars to move in. But I, I can't really do either. I don't want the the bookcase. The oh, I keep saying bookcase. The staircase is like smack bang in the middle. I don't really want to move the staircase, plus it's it's going to take me hours to try and move this for the sake of moving it over. So I'm kind of leaving that as it is for now. And it's also another thing that may benefit me changing this to stone brick, because um, then, you know, that kind of won't look so out of place. And when I say stone brick, I'm also thinking of changing, like, the archways as well. Uh, so all of this, so that, like, the uh, oak wood would stay. But all of this dark wood that's all here 
all along the edging would all go and it'd all be replaced with stone brick. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Do, do you prefer it like this or would you, you know, would it look better if I just, um, you know, change it to stone? I do, you know, sometimes I do get a little bit lost in my own head and I do find it difficult to try and sort of concentrate. Um, not concentrate, but you know what I mean? I, I kind of, I, I struggle making decisions, especially when the amount of work it's going to require me to change it is going to be. So, um, but the main focus for today is, well, not the main focus. One of the main focuses is I need to get that glass tube done for the iron farm, which is over here. So I want to get that, I want to get that one out of the way today. And also I need to start work on some other things as well. I, I'm pretty much probably going to build another mob farm. Um, that's going to be closer to this and actually feed into the system. Uh, I haven't 100% settled on a location yet, but I'm possibly maybe over like in a section of this desert, like maybe around here. Or yeah, there's a, there's a lot of mountains to move <laughs> if I needed to. So yeah, I haven't quite 100% settled on where I'm going to put it yet. It's a slightly better view of it from up here. Uh, I have got the render distance set to maximum uh, and the same on the server, but obviously it can only do so much. Um, so yeah, I need to decide on where I'm going to put my mob farm. I also want um, to try and see if I can start up an end rod farm as well. Um, I think I have got some chorus fruit and stuff, so I, I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, there's plenty of plans. Uh, that I also need to work on the outside of this. So as you can see, I've kind of sort of started like doing a rough layout. I'm thinking like to maybe go uh, one white concrete and stone uh, for the most part. Um, and then, you know, just but again, like with me, I, d I tend to not plan this, plan things out. I tend to just do it and then like rip it all down and start again if there's one particular thing I like because I you know it's kind of hard for me to visualize what it's going to look like on a big scale so I'll do like one section if I like it I'll make it bigger if not I'll I'll do it somewhere else so we'll see we'll see how we get on but for the moment first things first I need to I don't think I actually have a lot of glass um glasses down where uh no I have no glass so I'm going to have to uh smelt of sand let's just hope i've actually got sand uh yeah we've got some sand yeah that's fine so we need to go and drop this over in the super smelter and i need to go and sort out that iron farm so that's what i'm going to be doing first and then we'll attempt to come up with an idea of what we're going to do next after that so we'll see you guys in a bit okay first job is done um i had a little bit of a, a weird thing um for some reason uh you know i put the glass tubes up which was fine it wasn't an issue um, I, I thought golems couldn't spawn on glass. Apparently, turns out, they can. Who knew? Secondly, uh, so I thought that's fine. I'll just stick some half slabs down, some bottom slabs down. They won't be able to spawn on that. Yes, they can. I have no idea why, considering these are all bottom slabs. Uh, for some reason, the, even though these were bottom slabs all along here, I mean, they don't look like now I've actually placed another layer of slabs on top. Um, but even though there was a layer of bottom slabs on top of these glass tubes, they were still able to spawn on them. I have no idea why. I didn't think that was possible. So I made them full blocks um, and put some fences on the top just just because. Um, and now it's all working as intended. I've only done like the sides. Hang on if I can get a slightly better angle. So yeah, I've only done the sides. I haven't done like the central portion um, because... Uh, I didn't want to get it to, obviously I could only go up so far because of the villages. I didn't want to get, I've made mistakes before where I've built a little bit too close. The zombie and he's managed to like jump out of the cauldron or the villager has managed to somehow like glitch over onto the block that I've been building on. So I steered well clear of like this central, uh, that central bit that you can just see under there that, you know, that runs down that bit. So I've just done the outside and we are back up to peak efficiency now. The golems can't spawn anywhere other than this, uh, platform and they can do nothing other than fall down now there there is a very 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 slight possibility that if they come off right on the very corner they may land on like the like that corner slab but there but they have got nowhere else to go other than into that water so i the, they, 
We'll we'll have to see if if the iron stops and there's like twenty iron golems just like loitering around on the edges. Thing they are going to nudge each other in eventually, um, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. But that is finally done, and with that, actually, while I think about it, let's just nip over here and check. Actually, uh, yeah, I've got a load of stuff in here. So what I'm going to do is we will stick all of this in our drop chest. So all that back in the system and that 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 that should be good and now let's go up and have a look at see what our iron stocks are looking like now i have been conveyed because obviously i've only got four double chests now obviously i can switch off the system and like the access and it will just basically i'll have I don't know whatever it is like 50 hoppers with five slots each to fill plus there's actually still the chests in there as well that can fill um but yeah we've got we've, we've got a decent amount that's not bad going but why i'm here and while i think about it let's just convert the uh no let's not do that let's convert these into iron blocks as many as we can and chuck those in there and stick them back in there so Here we go. Right, that system is in. What also, meanwhile, I want to check on what my slimes are doing. Um, I haven't been AF. I haven't been on the server honestly. I when I moved them all originally, um, I actually converted a load of them to slime blocks anyway. And I haven't been like you know, if I AFK like over the top of that, that will probably fill that up quite quickly. So, but I've got more than enough to do with for now. Uh, so the next plan of action is. Um, that's a very good point. Uh, the next plan of action is I might work, try and work on the outside aesthetic a little bit uh, and try and come, come up with an idea for what I like with that. I may drag chass on if I can uh, and see if we can work something out. So I'm probably going to have to take off this line here in order to get that indent in. So that, yeah, this line will have to go. Um, which won't be an issue. I made it bigger than than it needed to be anyway. So yeah, we'll have to get it where yeah, I'll take off these edges and We'll see what we, if we can find something that works. So with that, we'll see you later All right guys in a shocking twist that surprised absolutely no one the plan has changed uh, Again as you can see behind me and up in the top right hand corner. I have a bunch of buffs uh, what I decided to do was it was really slow moving around this and for anybody that comes visiting or uh, you know might need to use my storage system for whatever um, It's going to be quite slow for them. I'm the actually the only one on the server apart from Chas I think with an elytra and he doesn't really use his very much so I use my elytra quite a bit to sort of get around So what I've decided to do is I've actually put my beacons in I've increased the size of the central pillar as you can see and I've actually put my beacons in there. Um, subsequently, however, the subsequent problem with that, it means now I don't have a beacon to take with me wherever I want to go. So rather than keep taking them in and taking them out, I actually want to get some more beacons. Uh, I kind of want to get some anyway, um, you know, so, so I can sell them to everybody else. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I have um, some all of my nether bricks here that I have. Uh, I'm going to increase the size of the platform that I've got in the nether for trying to grind weather skeleton skulls. Um, I kind of need to work on that. It probably should be one of the next main projects we do is actually build a proper weather skeleton farm. Um, that may possibly be in the next episode. I don't know. I'll see how I get on with this particular one. But um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. But that's going to be for now. So there's not actually going to be a lot of exciting stuff happening for me for a little while. Because all I'm doing is grinding skeletons, uh, weather skeletons and things. So um, I am going to call it there for the video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to leave in rating. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to come and see me on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. So I hope to see you there and hang out. But as for me, that's me done for this video. Again, I know it's a little bit on the short side. Just bear with me a bit longer and, you know, we'll get back up to full steam again. But uh, in the meantime, I'm done, guys. Have a good one. I'm out. Bye-bye.